One of the most beneficial poses in yoga is to do a squat. Squats are so beneficial for your hips and for your spinal flexibility. For this practice, we'll use a wall and a block. Move your mat up to a wall so that you can use the wall to learn how to do squats. As you come to the wall, Draw your pelvis as close to the wall as possible. Now, for some of us, this is not so easy, but if you lie in a fetal pose and take your feet to the wall, with your feet about hip distance apart, maybe you can scoot your pelvis closer to the wall. Now you're in the squat position. The legs are now weight-bearing. You're doing a lot of hip flexion. So walk your feet a little bit closer to each other and take the knees wide just as a way to open up the pelvic area a little bit more. Take your feet a little bit wider now. Press firmly into the wall. You can notice how when the legs engage, it shifts the lumbar spine. You can really feel the engagement of the low back. Take your feet together again. Squeeze your knees together. And as you press into the wall, once again, you feel this nice engagement of the legs. Now roll over to come out of the pose and sit by the wall in a squat position. With your back up to the wall, take your feet as close to the pelvis as possible. Scoot your pelvis a little bit closer to the wall. Can you lift up your pelvis with your hands? Lift yourself up and press your pelvis to the wall. So now you're really engaging the legs. You're in a full squat with the help of the wall. But we need to get other aspects of your legs a little bit more engaged to do a freestanding squat. You can release yourself out of the pose. Now use the wall. As you press the pelvis to the wall, draw the right knee in and see if you can lift it up just to open the hips a little bit more. In this half chair pose, we just uh, give a, just a little bit of pressure at the top of the thigh to open the pelvis. You're pressing the foot down to get a nice engagement, nice support of the wall. Release your right foot as you engage the right leg. Slowly lift your left leg up, and in the same way, just draw the top of the thigh down. And release out of the pose. Now take the block if you've got one. If you don't have a block, you can just roll a towel. Squeeze the block. Press your pelvis to the wall. Keep on squeezing the block as a way to engage the legs even more fully. As you draw the legs in toward the block, lift your arms up. Just get this nice fullness to the breath. Maybe you can take your pelvis down just slightly. Keep squeezing the block with the help of the wall. Now slowly support yourself to lift yourself away from the wall. Come to all fours position on your yoga mat. Step your feet as wide apart as the mat is. And with a very short stance, lift your pelvis up. So in this short downward facing dog, engage your hands and feet nicely. Walk your hands back toward your feet and take your pelvis down. Walk your hands forward and come to that short version of downward facing dog. Lift your heels high, draw your heels down, 
walk your hands back toward your feet bring your pelvis a little bit closer to the mat walk your hands forward again lift your heels high draw your heels down toward the mat walk your hands toward your feet draw your pelvis down slightly now come to a chair pose imagine that you're squeezing the block draw your knees slightly back take your arms up chair pose is a wonderful way to practice to get a little bit closer into your squat pose now from here reach your right arm forward your left arm back take your arms up take the left arm forward the right arm back come back to the center now revolve rotate the spine take the right hand down to the outer left knee maybe you can let the hand slide a little bit lower toward the floor come back to the center and take your left hand somewhere to the outer right leg and see if you can go a little bit deeper in the pose come back to the center position and root down to rise up let's modify the chair pose take your hands right above your knees lift your heels up so now you're using your 10 toe tips as brakes. You're just trying to balance on your tiptoes and get a nice engagement. Maybe you can free your arms and lift them up. Now bend your knees more, take the tops of the thighs back, just draw your ribs a little bit closer to the tops of the thighs as you're reaching forward now press firmly down root down from the pelvis to the earth to lift yourself out of the pose now let's do the final pose if your heels aren't coming down let's use just a little support so that you feel very rooted I like to use either a rolled towel or a rolled blanket. Customize your rolled blanket so it feels like a nice wedge that will support you nicely. Before coming down to the pose we were just in with the hands right above the knees, just get a little bit of elongation of the spine by lifting your chin and now drawing your gaze inward. And again, heart forward, sit bones lift, cat cow in this modified chair pose. And again, and look inward. Those of you that feel like you've got plenty of stretch in the ankles, you won't need the wedge. But those of us that could use it, we'll just use the little elevation to come to a squat pose. Squats are so beneficial for our pelvis, for the inner groin area, and for elongating the spine just by keeping the hip area so active. Thanks for joining me in the practice. Namaste.